What do you think, from your perspective, are the main causes of food price volatility? Um, well, it's, I think it's important to separate out high food prices from volatile food prices. And, and there are a number of different factors affecting each one. Um, as far as volatility per se is concerned, then food prices, agricultural prices, have always been volatile because weather variations and, and so on. Um, more recently, though, there's a number of other complicating factors come into play, some of which are quite controversial, like uh, whether speculation affects food prices, um, links between um, agricultural markets and energy markets through oil prices, and, and so on. And then, sadly, um, another source of volatility can be the policy decisions taken by certain countries. And, there's been a lot of criticism recently of things like export restrictions, for example. Okay, and what are the main consequences for poor consumers? Well, the, whether volatility in prices on world markets actually passes through to poor consumers in developing countries and how much it passes through is actually quite a complicated matter. But um, basically, I suppose the simple numbers are that if you have people or households who are spending up to 70% of their income on food, then any variations in the price of food is bound to have a, a, a serious impact on them. How they adapt to that is something that um, requires a lot of research and, and so it's not necessarily simply that people will cut back on their food intake. They may try and maintain their food intake by economizing on other things like healthcare, education, or they switch to lower quality foods which have got, uh, which are not so nutritious. Say. So what are the measures and steps would, would have an effect to counter this? Well, I, I think that there are things that can be done at the international level and then things that can be done at the national level. Um, at the international level, then we have initiatives like the Agricultural Market Information System to improve uh, the transparency of world food markets. Um, we've also had lots of discussion on whether biofuel policies should be reformed, um, whether uh, speculation however defined on commodity markets should be uh, restricted. So all of those would affect the, the extent of volatility um, on world markets. Um, at national level um, then there's two things basically. You need to make sure that you have protective measures in place in the short run uh, to guard against very negative impacts on food security. So this is things like um, safety nets of different kinds. Uh, it might be uh, food for work programs, it might be food subsidies, although maybe there's problems there. Um, but then in the medium term, you also need to think in terms of building resilience uh, in your agriculture and food sector so that you reduce your exposure to international food price volatility. Thank you.